Hello out there. Today we come to the topic of scene lighting. In the last videos I have always mentioned that order is important when creating a 3D scene. Now you can see why. First I create some lights for the light board. The light sources are all set to standard. This means that they have a huge effect on the whole scene. With only a few lights, the whole scene will be too bright. When we activate the shadow, it gets a little better, but is still way too bright. That's why I assign the lights of the illuminated signs to the building they are attached to. To have a better control over the lights, I create a light and for the opposite side an instance of the same light. Step by step, I now create light sources for each light sign. Each of the lights is assigned to its building. This way we get a controllable lighting of the scene. We also need light sources for the holograms. I also limit these to the surrounding buildings.
After all the light signs have received their lit sources, it's time for the street lighting. For this we create a single light source. All other lights for the street are an instance of the main light. In this way, we can influence the parameters of all the lights. This saves a lot of time and nerves. Now is the time to create street lighting to each building. Since we have separated each element, we can now make each object visible step by step and set the light sources. I would like to mention here that we are only creating the main lighting of the scene. When it comes to creating the individual clip scenes, adjustments will be necessary. Thank you. 
So, that's enough for today. All necessary settings are made. Now that the environment is created, it's time to tell a visual story. Until this moment I have only a theoretical idea of my movie. Since the story is not finished yet, in the next chapter, I will deal with exporting the first scenes. I hope, I could give you some useful info, and say goodbye.